What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast review. And for the first time ever, I'm going to be doing a diecast review on a cart diecast. And this right here is going to be on Bobby Ray Hall's 1994 Ray Hall Hogan Miller T94 Lola. And I gotta say, this is awesome to have an amazing. Amazing diecast like this. I got this on eBay uh, with the best offer. Originally, it was supposed to be 10 bucks free shipping, but then the prices got down to eight. I'm like, you know what? I'll save that for later, but then eBay wouldn't be paid for it now. So yeah, but then I had to wait almost two weeks for it to get to get here because the, uh, the eBay seller took forever to uh, ship it, but uh, that's okay. At least it's here. Better late than never. And all that. And before we get started, uh, we got this very cool uh, little card thing for the information of the diecast. And also for Ray Hall. So you got Ray Hall Home and Miller T94 Lola IndyCar. Now it's cards. Uh, see other see other sides for driver's highlights. And you got all these. And you got the back, which is Bobby Ray Hall's career stats as of 1994. It's got a birth date, hometown, IndyCar starts as of 94, 24 wins, got top 10s, top 5s, got the team, Ray Hall, Hogan, Team Miller, Team Motors, got Bob Ray Hall, Car, Hogan, this is a T94 Lola, car number 4, the engine is a Honda Indy V8, and a horsepower is 720 at 12,000 RPMs. Bobby Ray Hall won the 1986 Indianapolis 500 and took second in 1990. In 1992, he won his third PPG IndyCar World Series championship. He, ran, he ranked first in all-time earnings and 10th in all-time wins at that time. Very, very cool. And this diecast was made by uh, Fletcher Earnhardt and White Incorporated. I think that's the name. And... What's unique about this diecast is I I thought this was a 164 diecast, but it's not. I think this is a 155 scale diecast. Like a, a, someone in the group chat uh, said that it was like a it's probably a 155 uh, scale diecast. Like here's the comparison between a 143 NASCAR diecast, a 164 IndyCar diecast, and Bobby Ray Hall's diecast. See the difference in this picture? So yeah. With that being said, let's begin. And before I begin, this is like a youth diecast. Like it has no Miller genuine drafts or the Miller sponsor, the beer sponsor, because it's not, it's an alcoholic sponsor and all that. So yeah. With that being said, let's begin. You got Ray Hall Hogan Racing. You got Shell, uh, one of the sponsors. You got Ford. You got Honda. And right here, you got the Shell logo. You got the number four again. And I think that's some logo be uh, next to the show. Who, where, I don't know. I don't know what it says. And on the, on the uh, rear wing, you got Ray Hall Hogan. Um, and then on the nose, you got NGK, Textron, Honda, Shell for Ray Hall Hogan Racing. And... I guess there's nothing else to say. Oh, yeah. And on the bottom, I don't think you can see it, but it says Fletcher Earnhardt and White Incorporated. They made that die cast. And I got to say, although it's not what I expected with a scale. I thought it was a 164, but it turns out it's bigger than that. But regardless, it's very cool to own a cart die cast. And yeah. Not sure what else to say. Very cool diecast. Very iconic library. Um, back in the back in the cart days with Bobby Rahal. Bobby Rahal has a lot of iconic libraries. Hell, even Graham Rahal threw it back to his dad during the 2019 Road America race with Gel as a sponsor, and it's based off of this library right here. And I mean, it is used up. I actually hang on when i got this die cast it wasn't a bag it wasn't a little bag like it was never open i was i want to say it's used up but like because it, i want to say it was used up because the wheels it don't move like it should like just like the front tires but i don't know 
What's also unique about this die cast is that this is on a road course kit and I believe the short oval kit. I could be wrong. But this is very cool die cast. Very happy to own this. I do love me. I do want to get more IndyCar die cast soon. And other die casts and all that. And oh hang on. Hang on. Sorry, just setting up the thumbnail. I apologize. If I give a rating of this die cast, pretty much like a 7.8 out of 10. Uh, I don't know. 8 out of 10. I'm not really sure. But this is still cool regardless. The main colors of the car is mainly black, got yellow, got red, you know, the shell colors. All I got to say is that this is just very cool to own this piece of beauty. So, yeah, that's going to do it for another diecast review. I could be wrong if this is a 155th scale diecast. I don't know. Not 100% sure. So, yeah, that's going to do it for another diecast review. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow, um, follow my social accounts and all that. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content and more diecast reviews as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is the Press 48 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.